What is link shortening? Link shortening is a scalable, secure way to send branded links to a large audience and get a ton of helpful data back while you're at it. With a few lines of code, you can turn long URLs into short, branded, and trackable URLs to send via SMS, MMS, or WhatsApp. You're probably already familiar with link shortening. Businesses all over the place use link shortening to send crucial information to their audiences. If you've ever used a food delivery service and received a text message confirming your order is on the way with a link to track your order, that's likely a shortened link. If you saw a bit of the company's name in the URL, that's probably a shortened and branded link. Or maybe an airline has sent you a text before your flight with a link to check in. That's likely a shortened branded link too. There's a good reason that small businesses, big airlines, and everyone in between uses link shortening. It's super helpful for the person sending the message and the person receiving the message. Link shortening lets you send more concise messages, add branding to your links, and track how your links are performing. Let's recap how link shortening works and why you might want to use it in the first place. The first big benefit of link shortening is making sure your link and the body of your message all stay in one segment and aren't split up. Let's say we're running a coffee business called Early Riser. If you're more of a tea person like me, I swear we serve tea too, but this time we're focused on promoting a new coffee we just came out with. We want to send a message to our audience that beautifully describes the flavor notes of that new coffee. And we also want to add a link so our customers can buy that coffee. If we're too wordy when we describe our coffee's flavor and run on and on in the body of our message, then we might not have enough room to fit both the text describing the coffee's flavor and the link to buy that coffee all in one text message segment. Brief detour here, what is a segment? To put it simply, segments are the building blocks of any text message. They come together to form the final message your recipient sees. It's better when they all fit nicely together. It's even better when you can fit everything you need to say into one message segment. If you'd like to learn more about segments, we have a message segment calculator and a message segment 101 guide below. So, without getting too far down the encoding GSM UCS2 8 bits in a byte rabbit hole, we will just say it's better to have your message fit in one well architected segment. Splitting segments could result in a broken link or a higher charge for sending your message. So, back to that message we're sending out promoting our new coffee. When we use link shortening, we can likely fit all the pertinent coffee tasting details in the body of our message and a link to buy that coffee all in one message segment. The second big benefit of link shortening is that you can make your links match the brand and domain you already have. As the owners of Early Riser Coffee Company, we own the domain earlyrisercoffee.com. When we use link shortening to reach our audience and tell them about our coffee, we could abbreviate the link we send to them as early.riser slash coffee. Our brand is there, our link is shorter, and there's one other benefit of using that branded shorter link, data. The third big benefit of link shortening is that it gives you insights into how your content is performing. Let's imagine we send out our message with one link to promote our coffee to 50% of our early riser coffee customer base. We'll call this the A group. And we send another message with another link to the other 50% of our customer base. We'll call that the B group. Using link shortening, we can track which link was the most popular with our customer base and drove the most purchases of our coffee. We can see which links they clicked on and when. With that incredibly helpful information, we can see which approach resonates with our customers, the A group or the B group. Now that we've got a nice primer, let's dive into how to get up and running shortening links in your messages with Twilio. Messages with long links look like this and look like this after they're shortened. But there's one thing that Twilio needs before it can shorten your links. Proof you own your domain. Trust is a pillar of Twilio's platform, as well as your relationship with your customers, your readers, and your audience. To protect that trust, Twilio makes sure that only the owner of a domain can shorten links with their domain. So, if you don't own a website URL, you can't use Twilio to shorten that website's URL. This rule protects the trust you're building with your customers. It makes sure that when we, the proud proprietors of Early Riser Coffee, are promoting our newest batch of beans, we can message our audience with confidence. 
Why? Because we know that we here at Early Riser Coffee are the only ones who can shorten our URL from earlyrisercoffeecompany.com to early.riser. There are a number of ways you can onboard your domain and prove you're the owner of the website whose links you'll be shortening. The most popular route is using a TLS certificate. We've gone ahead and linked a helpful guide below so you can onboard your domain to Twilio and come back right here once that's all done. To shorten links, you're gonna need a Twilio account. If you haven't signed up for one yet, go ahead and pause this video and we'll be here when you get back. Awesome. We've got a Twilio account, so now we can use the engagement suite. Twilio's engagement suite puts a ton of really useful messaging tools all in one place. We're shortening links today, but tomorrow you might need to schedule a message or review data and analytics from your whole messaging campaign. You can do all of that and a lot more with the tools in the engagement suite. So, if the engagement suite is a collection of our favorite tools, Twilio's messaging services is the whole toolbox. Messaging services cover all the tools that you can use to layer different features within the apps you're building on Twilio. When we fire up our text editor and start writing code to build this link shortening app, we'll need a messaging service SID which is essentially our key to the whole Twilio messaging toolbox. You'll also need our account SID and auth token. These three credentials, our messaging service SID, account SID, and auth token, are how we let Twilio know who we are. Now, when we make an API call, Twilio answers, oh, hey, I know you. To find these credentials, log into your Twilio account, navigate to your account dashboard, and look for the credentials under account info. We've got our credentials all set, now let's start putting the API to work shortening links. The first thing we're going to do is create a message. We'll use client.message and create to do just that. Next, we'll tell Twilio that we do want to use its link shortening feature, so we'll set the shorten URLs parameter to true. We'll also pass along our messaging service SID to tell Twilio which of our messaging services is associated with the domain whose link we want to shorten. In this case, I know the messaging service SID of our company, Early Riser Coffee. And I know that that SID is attached to the domain, which I've onboarded to Twilio and proved I own, earlyrisercoffee.com. Now, we have to write the body of the message going out to our audience. Let's imagine we're selling a nice new blend of beans that we've named Morning Time. It's named after that perfect time in the morning when all is still, the morning sunlight is gleaming into our home, your phone hasn't started buzzing with notifications, and you're just savoring some coffee before starting your day. We'll say, savor the still parts of morning with a stellar coffee, morning time. And we'll include our long link that we want shortened in the body of the message. Finally, we'll include the phone number or phone numbers we want to send the SMS to. If we had a few early riser coffee customers we wanted to reach out to on WhatsApp, we could enter in their WhatsApp number in the to field, like so. One quick note here, in order to send WhatsApp messages from the Twilio platform straight to your customers on WhatsApp, you need to have already onboarded your WhatsApp business account with Twilio. If you haven't yet, no problem. We've added a guide on how to do just that in the description of this video. When we're ready to send this message, we'll use the Twilio API. At send time, Twilio will create a redirect from the long URL we've included in the body of our message, earlyrisercoffee.com slash check out morning time coffee to our new shorter URL, early.riser slash morning coffee. Our loyal customers will receive a message that looks like this. Twilio will store the original link we've provided and the shortened link for 90 days. In those 90 days, whenever someone clicks on our beautiful short link, they'll still be redirected to the original long link we provided. Meaning, our early riser coffee customers see a short link, click on it, and end up where we want them to be, at the long URL we provided originally where they can shop for coffee. But after that 90-day window, Twilio isn't able to redirect our customers from the short link to the original long link. After that 90 days, Twilio will redirect back to a fallback URL that we have to provide. If you ever have errors with link shortening due to some change to your domain verification or have an expired TLS certificate, you can tell Twilio to send your message with the original link provided or to not send that message. Anyways, 
we need to be sure to set up that fallback URL when we configure our link shortening instance. We can err on the safe side and set it up to our homepage, earlyrisercoffee.com. That way, if one of our customers loses their phone for 91 days and doesn't see our text or WhatsApp message until 91 days after we sent them, that customer can still end up at our homepage because our shortened link would redirect to our fallback URL, earlyrisercoffee.com. Let's err on the side of positivity and assume the customer we're trying to reach has their phone right next to them and is eager to order some coffee. We'll go ahead and send this message. After sending, Twilio will output a bunch of helpful information about when your message was sent, who it was sent to, the body of the message, and more. Here's what that might look like. What happens next? How do we know if the launch of Morning Time Coffee was successful? Luckily for us, the link shortening feature we used also comes with insights on how our links performed. We can use this information to see if this launch worked and to guide our future marketing efforts and launches. Every time a customer clicks on our shortened link, Twilio logs a click event. For each click event, Twilio sends a post request to your provided endpoint with details like the number or WhatsApp address the message was addressed to, the original link provided to be shortened, and the time that the recipient clicked on the link, and even the browser type and the device the customer used to access the link. One thing to note here is that Twilio won't send click information if our short link has expired and is out of our record retention window. So if you've configured a custom retention period for your message record, make sure your retention period is at least 90 days, the default length of time that Twilio will keep redirect ties from your long original link to our shortened link that's functioning as a redirect. Another thing to note, Twilio does have rate limits on the number of messages we can send out at once. So if we've had a few too many cups of coffee at Early Riser Coffee Company and want to send out 3,000 requests per second to the Twilio API, we can't quite move that fast, even if the coffee coursing through us says we probably can. Twilio has an account-based rate limit of 2,000 requests per second. Still, that should be more than enough to reach our audience. Whew, we did it. We got link shortening up and running on SMS, MMS, and WhatsApp with the Twilio API. We even onboarded our domain to Twilio and took a brief tour through Twilio's engagement suite. The engagement suite is a great spot to return to if you'd like to build even more helpful apps with Twilio. You've got link shortening down, but what about message scheduling? Importing data and performance metrics and more. For your next project, we'd say check out the engagement suite. And if you need anything in the meantime, we're right here. Thanks for building with us. We can't wait to see what you build next.